Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another live streaming of task training. I would like to say thank you po sa ating mga subscribers. Sumabot na po tayo ng 21,900 uh, subscribers. No? So, thank you very much. And uh, our topic for tonight is uh, part two of the implementing rules and regulations of CREATE law. No? And then we have the task updates on the RMC 81-2021, ito yung list of bat exempt products no? na, ma, na tungkol sa mga gamot. And then we will have our question and answer. Okay, so shout out to Harry. Shout out po ma'am kay Sir Eugene Cruz. <laughs> Siya pa lang ma'am yung nagko-comment. Ah, kasi ano pa lang eh. Tapos also, no? Okay, so Okay, let, let's continue with our discussion on the uh, part two. Part two ng uh, implementing guidelines ng rules and regulations, no? Kasi uh, we have our CREATE law, 11534. Ito yung uh, reforming the corporate income tax and incentive system ng uh, tax laws natin. No? So, ito yung mga incentives. Bakit binibigyan ng incentives ang mga corporation in order to uh, uh, help the companies because of the COVID-19. No? So, yun yung uh, reason talaga kung bakit na meron tayong uh, mga incentives na binibigay. No? Okay. So, tapos na tayo dun sa customs duties and exemptions. No? So, dito tayo sa uh, tapos na tayo sa importation. Okay. Ito yung mahirap. No? Kasi hindi, hindi din basta-basta ang uh, implementing regulations no? sa exemption. Kasi tax exemption nito eh. No? Ito yung sa bagay, kahit na yung mga dati pa na mga uh, incentives, ito rin yung provision. No? Ito yung uh, exemptions from the payment of customs duties pag manag import ang isang company ng mga equipments. No? But uh, kung meron ka ng na-import ng mga project, na mga equipments, dapat yung, yung importation na yun, utilize mo yun doon sa project or activity mo. In the event na yung binili mo, in-import mo, that you claim exemptions, ibibenta mo, no? so within the uh, five years from date of importation, the registered business enterprise shall secure prior approval of the concerned uh, implementing uh, incentive promotion agency and pay the amount corresponding to the exempt duties on importation thereof. Uh, 11. No? So, kailangan manghingi yung nag-avail nag ng exemption sa importation, manghingi siya ng uh, permit or approval na ibenta na niya yung uh, machines within five years yun na pagka binenta niya yun bayaran niya yung exempt duties no on importation thereof okay kasi yung yung for part time utilization the in an unregistered project or activity corresponding to duties exempt on specific capital equipment raw materials spare parts or accessories will be paid in proportion. No? So, proportion na lang kasi uh, part lang naman din yung nagamit sa uh, na-utilize no, doon sa project. Okay. Uh, value added tax yung zero rating and exemptions. So, ano naman i-avail yung value added tax na zero rating? Okay. Sa local purchases, 
no apply to goods and services directly and exclusively used in the registered project or activity of export enterprises during the period of registration bakit siya zero rating kasi export enterprise at uh, uh, ito yung binibigyan ng uh, zero rating na uh, rate no ng BIR So, during the period of registration of the said registered project or activity with the concerned IPA. Okay. And, uh, pagka hindi na siya zero rating, then it should be subject to 12% VAT. Pag hindi naman pala siya uh, export, no? Pagka local sales na, subject to 12%. Okay. So, the excess input taxes attributable to zero-rated sales by VAT registered RBA at the RBA's option be refunded or applied for tax credit. So, yun. Yun yung ginagawa sa mga excess na input ng zero-rated sales. Either you claim for refund or you claim for a tax credit certificate. Okay. So, direct and exclusive use in registered project or activity refers to raw materials, inventory, supplies, equipment, goods, services, other expenditures necessary for registered project or activity with which the registered project or activity cannot be carried out. So, yun ang mga uh, kasama ha, sa uh, zero rating, no? Diyan makukuha yung uh, input taxes, no? So, kasama dyan yung inventories, supplies, equipment, goods, services na uh, may sources of input dyan. No? Other incentives on importation of COVID-19 vaccine. So, yung mga vaccine na ginagamit sa COVID-19 may uh, incentives din. No? So, ano yung incentives niya? Importation of COVID-19 vaccines exempt from import duties. No? So, wala silang babayaran na uh, import duties sa Bureau of Customs. Taxes and other fees, no? subject to the approval or licenses issued by Department of Health or the FDA or the Food and Drug Administration. No? Okay. So, pero, itong mga um, uh, Halimbawa, nag-avail ka na ng incentives. So, you buy uh, the vaccine no? para sa COVID-19. Hindi pwede yung ibenta. Na? Hindi yan pwedeng i-resale. Ah? Although, ang daming violations na ngayon. Na Nire-resale pala, binibenta pala. No? And it should, shall be sub, uh, distributed without any consideration from persons to be vaccinated. Dapat libre siya. So, RBS availing duty and tax exemption must declare that the vaccine shall be for the sole and exclusive use of such entities. Kaya siya exempt, no? Uh, ito namang incentives on importation of petroleum products. Uh, ito yung mga persons who, who import petroleum products known as Downstream Oil Industry Deregulation Act para i-resale in the Philippine Customs Territory. Ano yung Philippine Customs Territory? Ito yung mga free port zones, mga economic zones, no? Okay. Uh, defined in the Customs Modernization and Tariff Act or the SMTA. Ito yung law natin ngayon sa customs. No? So, shall not be entitled to the foregoing tax and duty incentives subject to appropriate taxes imposed under this code. So, Since subject sila to, uh, to taxes imposed under this code, so subject po sila sa customs duties, and on top of that, uh, magbabayad pa sila ng uh, advanced value added tax on importation. No? So ano to mga petroleum products? Ito yung uh, products formed in the course of refining crude petroleum through distillation, crackling, cracking, solvent, refining and chemical treatment coming out as primary stocks from the refinery. No? So, ito yung mga um, uh, byproduct ng uh, petroleum. No? LPG, naphtha, gasoline, solvent, kerosene, 
aviation fuels, diesel oil, fuel oil, waxes, petrolatum, asphalt, bitumen, coke, and refinery sludges. No? Uh, like uh, petroleum fractions. So, yan ang mga sinasabi na petroleum products. No? So, the resultant product contains not less than 50% by weight of such petroleum products. Okay. May mga, uh, ano siya eh. Subject siya sa, uh, customs duties, no? Okay. Subject siya sa mga duties and taxes. Okay. So, let's now go to the uh, start of the period of, of availment. Kailan ba mag-umpisa na yung period of availment, especially now that there is already this uh, implementing regulations? No? So, the period of availment of the foregoing income tax based incentive shall commence from the actual start of commercial operations with the uh, RBE of the re registered business enterprise availing of the tax incentives within three years, no? so within three years from the date of registration unless otherwise provided in the strategic investment priority plan and its corresponding guidelines. Also no? within three years from date of registration. Prioritization and tiering. So tiering, my tier one, tier two, and tier three, no? So, ito yung mga uh, period of availment of incentives based on loca location and industry priorities. So, tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3, but ibang industries po to, no? So, location, industry, or tiers. So, National Capital Region, tier 1, anong uh, ma-avail nila? The four years income tax holidays, plus the 10 expanded deductions plus the um, simplified corporate income tax. No? So tier 2 naman for the National Capital Region, the 5 income tax holidays plus the 10 expanded deductions plus the simplified corporate income tax. No? For the third tier, Six income tax holiday plus ten expanded deductions and uh, simplified corporate income tax. Yan ang sa third tier three, no? So for metropolitan areas or areas contiguous and adjacent to national capital region, so tier one five uh, income tax holiday plus ten expanded deduction. Uh, and plus the simplified corporate income tax. No? Tier 2, this uh, six income tax holiday. Tier 3, seventh income tax holiday. No? So all other areas, six income tax holiday from, from uh, plus 10 expanded deduction and uh, special corporate income tax. Uh, third, two, seventh. Uh, income tax holiday and then the tier 3, 7 income tax holiday. Okay. So, yun yung mga incentives, no? Based on location and industry priorities para sa mga exporter but, um, activities. Dito naman sa uh, domestic market lang, no? Or local activities. So, national capital region for income tax holiday plus 5 expanded deduction. So, apat lang na ah, lima lang na, na expanded deductions pero yung kanina for the um, exporter activities ilan yung uh, expanded deductions niya 10 no so dito sa domestic market lima lang okay so national capital region Four income tax holiday plus five income tax deduction, expanded deduction. Tier two, 
five income tax holiday plus five expanded deduction. Tier three, six income tax holiday plus five expanded deduction. Uh, okay, so for metropolitan areas or areas contiguous and adjacent to national capital region. So, yan yung mga uh, expanded deduction siya and income tax holiday and all other areas. Uh, so, all, all other areas. Okay. All uh, projects or activities located in areas recovering from armed conflict or a major disaster. Ito yung sinasabi ng Section 7 no, of the Implementing Rules and Regulations for the CREATE Law. Letter A, Declaration of the President or his authorized representatives of the existence of an armed conflict or a major disaster, including pandemic, epidemic, support typhoon, or other analogous circumstances. Also, the issue once of a presidential directive for the implementation of recovery programs of the affected area or areas. No? Yung mga areas affected. The armed conflict, no? Okay. So, projects or activities relocating from national capital region. Okay. Entitled po sila ng additional years of income tax holiday to commence at the completion of the re uh, relocation of operations. So, letter A, for the existing project or activity registered under this act, the additional three years of ITH shall commence after the expiration of the period of incentives granted under the certificate of registration issued to the RBE. So, nagbibigay din sila ng income tax holiday, no? For an existing project or activity under the transition period of this act, oh, transition period, the additional three years of IT shall commence after the expiration of the transition period provided under this act. No? So, the concerned IPA shall issue a CT, no certificate of um, entitlement, no certificate of May, may mamaya, tingnan natin. Ah. So, um, entitlement to additional three years of ITH. No? So, complete relocation shall mean total physical relocation of the facilities outside of NCR, including the transfer of the full operations of the registered project or activity to the new area of operation. Okay. So, for the review and uh, revision, so the industry and locational prioritations spe specified therein shall be subject to review and revision every three years. Uh, so, every three years po yung uh, review and revisions. Shout out. Yes. Wala pa? Meron po. Shout out po kay Ma'am Rowela Caballero. Okay. Pati po kay Ma'am LV Galanido. Good, good okay. Po. Shout out din po kay Ma'am Rosalie Reyes from San Mateo Rizal. Oh, di ba ka participant natin siya? Apo. Okay. Shout out din po kay Ma'am Lilian Yao. Okay. And kay Ma'am Josie Tinto Bambao from San Buanga del Sur. Wow. Nice place. Sila pa Okay, so uh, good evening po sa lahat ng mga viewers natin po ngayon. Good evening. And uh, ayun ko kung maulan din, no? Ngada gabi sa inyo. Kasi sa amin dito, maulan. Okay. So, may question na? Okay. So, tuloy po tayo ha, dito sa incentives. Kasi ang dami nito at saka ang haba. Sabi ko nga part, ano pa lang tayo ngayon, part 2. Pero palagay ko, hindi natin matatapos. Why? Kasi isa-isay natin talaga to eh. Yung mga uh, powers, yung mga um, uh, specific, no? Yung expanded functions. Marami to. Okay. Yung content, no? Ng mga reports. Uh -oh. So, tingnan po natin to. Hindi natin matapos to uh, Ngayon, so tapusin natin to next week. Okay. 
Sige. So, for the review and revision, every three years po din i-review itong uh, in, mga incentives, no? Uh, yung mga incentives na ina-avail, no? So, subject to review and revision. So, yung rule for strategic investment priority plan. So, ano to? Ito yung SIPP, no? So, section 1. Excuse me. Section 1 of Rule 4 ng Strategic Investment Priority Plan. No? So, Section 1 General Principles, the Strategic Investment Priority Plan or SIPP shall provide for the types of fiscal and non-fiscal support needed to. Okay. So, ito yung mga kailangan. Fiscal and non-fiscal support. Okay. Letter A, create high-skill jobs to grow a local pool of enterprises, particularly micro, no, small and medium enterprises that can supply to domestic and global value chains. No? So, um, ayusin daw yung uh, local pool of enterprises. No? Uh, letter B, increase the sophistication of products and services that are produced and or sourced domestically. So, kahit nasabihin mo domestically lang yan, uh, gawin mo na mga sophisticated yung products. No? Letter C, expand domestic supply and reduce dependence on imports. So, ano tong expand domestic supply? Uh, Parang magkaroon tayo ng self-sufficiency. Yung tinanim natin, diyan tayo kukuha ng mga um, gusto nating gawin, no? So, sophistication ng products and services and or source domestically, no? So, sophistication ng product. Okay. Expand domestic supply and reduce dependence on imports. No? So, Yung mga domestic na uh, supply. Ah, yan. Okay. So, reduce dependence on imports. So, okay, sa import tayo ng im import, gawa tayo ng sarili natin product domestically. Attract significant foreign capital or, or investment. No? So, itong dami na mga na -scan dito, scam dito, no? Yung mga foreign capital or investment. And, Promote export diversification and accelerate, accelerate countryside development. Uh, as these are consistent with the tier and local criteria of the uh, SIPP, yung, yung Strategic Investment Priority Plan. No? Okay. Promote export diversification and accelerate. accelerate Countryside development. No? So, consistent with the tier and location criteria of the SIPP. Okay. Wala pa rin question? Hmm, kasi maganda itong discussion natin eh. Okay. So, formulation, the BOI in coordination with FIRB, IPS, and OGAS administrative tax incentives shall, shall formulate and recommend the SIPP for the approval of the president. Okay, so for this purpose, the BOI shall undertake consultation with the above named agencies and all other relevant agencies on the proposed SIPP, no? So, it shall submit the report to the steering committee referred to in section 7 of this rule. Okay. Excuse me. Ano yung contents ng SIPP? No? Or the Strategic Investment Priority Plan. The SIPP shall contain the following. Priority projects or activities that are eligible or qualified 
to be granted incentives under the Act. Uh, scope and coverage of location and industry tiers. Okay. Terms and condition on the grant of enhanced deductions. Uh, so, ano ba yung uh, guidelines kung paano ta natin i-avail yung uh, enhanced deductions. Di ba yung enhanced deductions, yung mga deductions mo, may mga plus, no? may mga additions. So, criteria and conditions for existing registered projects or activities prior to the effectivity of the Act to register and avail of the incentives under the Act. No? So, conditions and qualifications for export enterprises registered prior to the effectivity of the Act to reapply and avail of ECIT. Ano to ECIT? Ito yung Special Corporate Income Tax, no? After the expiration of the transitory period under Section 311C of the Act. Pag sinabi natin Act, ito yung Republic Act 11534, no? Specific qualification, requirements, or conditions for a particular sector or industry and other limitations as set and determined by the BOI and in coordination with the FIRB or this Financial Incentives Review Board. No? So export of at least 70% of products and services. No? So ano yung uh, kailangan mag-export ng 70% ng product? Hmm. So, what are the criteria for investment uh, priority determination? Okay. So, for the um, strategic investment priority plan, no? ano yung uh, mga criteria? No? Letter A, whether the project or activity is covered by the Philippine Development Plan or its equivalent. No? as published by the National Economic and Development Authority and other priority government programs. No? So, whether the project or activity meets any of the following, ito naman yung uh, criteria din, no? Substantial amount of investments. No? Dapat may investments. Considerable generation of employment, especially towards less developed areas. So, nabigyan ng trabaho yung mga tao. Considerable amount of net exports. No? So, use of modern, advanced, or new technology or existing technology but not yet applied in the Philippines. Okay. Processes and innovations including urban planning and development methods that will lead towards the attainment of the sustainable development goals shall include but not be limited to adoption of adequate environmental protection systems and sustainability strategies. Okay. Also, for the investment priority, no? address missing links and other gaps in the supply or value chain or otherwise moving up the value chain or product ladder. Uh, next, promote market competitiveness or enhances the country's competitiveness as an investment destination. Uh, next is enhance the capabilities of Filipino enterprises and professionals to produce and offer increasingly sophisticated products and services. And uh, next is contribute to Philippine food security and increase income in the agriculture and, fish and fisheries sector. No? So yeah, we have to in, in, uh, increase our food security. Alam nyo, uh, Sa ka YouTube channel ko, I used to uh, watch also other YouTube channel, no? And uh, isa, isang YouTube channel that uh, uh, gets my attention, yung kay Iba Subic, no? Na uh, nag stay siya sa mga villages, uh, yung mga remote villages na hindi natin nakikita. And then, uh, pinipicture out niya yung how they uh, cook their foods, no? Ano yung ginagawa nila? And ang um, one uh, activity that uh, struck me most is yung nag-iimbak sila ng pagkain, no? Tinuturo niya, lalo na yung mga tao nandun sa disyerto, nandudoon may, may place talaga sila kung saan dinalagay nila or iniimbak nila na yung mga kanilang mga pagkain. Also, 
during uh, snow, o yung malamig na malamig, may mga taguan din sila kasama na yung mga anak ng kanilang yaks na uh, parang mga baka nila na uh, para hindi malamigan no? kasi mamamatay sa lamig. At saka binabalutan nila ng uh, damit o kaya sako para hindi malamigan. So, ang sabi ko, para uh, ma-increase mo yung food security and, and increase income in agriculture, fisheries sector, no? mag-prepare mag tayo. So, halimbawa, during the harvest season, paano natin i-preserve yung ating mga products na magamit natin siya uh, longer, no? Kasi isa namang YouTube channel that struck me most is eh, yung uh, isang babae na uh, how they preserve naman their uh, pork, no? Uh, Kakatay sila na isang bang, uh, malaking baboy tapos pina-smoke uh, nila and it will uh, stay for uh, one year. So, hindi na sila bumibili ng uh, pork. Doon na lang sila kumukuha na kumukuha, no? Hindi na sisira. Uh, pinapahang nila tapos ini-smoke ng cypress, no? Na mga dahon. So, napipreserve na yun for one year. Kaya nga, sabi ko, bakit tayo, yung mga Pinoy, parang pag pinuntan yung mga bahay natin, no? Sa experience ko to, ah, yung kakainin mo for today, hahanapin mo pa, no? Na magtatrabaho ka kasi yung sweldo mo, pambilin mo pa ng bigas. No? Sa kanila hindi. May nakaimbak na eh, na pagkain. So, yung hinahanap mo ngayon, iimbak mo na naman yan ulit. No? So, wala kasi tayong sistema na ginagawa na ganyan sa, sa mga bahay-bahay natin. No? Pero kung uh, gagawa tayo ng sistema, it's, it's not too late to adapt. No? Kaya nga sabi ko, uh, maka-develop tayo ng mga sistema na itong mga uh, pagkain natin, ito yung mga farm product natin, maimbak natin during the year, napakalaking, ano na, napakalaking tulong na po sa atin. No? So, ang gagawin natin is uh, uh, produce ng produce, tapos iimbak natin and magagamit na natin all throughout the year. No? Ito yung fisheries, agriculture natin. No? Uh, ang dami pa, ang dami pa nating mapapakinabangan sa mga sectors na to. Promote regional and global operations in the country. No? Ano yung regional and global operations? Yung yung slogan ng Japan, no? matagal ko na itong nakita doon sa mga uh, magasin nila. No? Yung sabi nila na uh, think globally, act locally. No? Imagine, ano yun? Think uh, globally. Alamin mo ano yung trend globally. And then, apply mo yan. You act it locally so that ready ka. So, that's a good uh, uh, mindset. Industry tiers. Tier 1, ito yung mga uh, job creation. No? Uh, ito yung mga industry na uh, bibigyan sila ng incentives. Pero ito yung kanilang purpose. No? Merong uh, potential for job creation. May uh, mark... Uh, under provision of basic goods and services, no? uh, value creation, kasi may innovation. Ano yung innovation? Uh, Nagre-research ka, nagde-develop ka something, nag innovate ka. No? May binabago ka, may ini-improve ka na product. Upgrading or moving up the value chain. No? So, in-upgrade mo, inaangat mo yung uh, sarili mo, pati yung bansa natin, inaangat mo. Okay. Provide essential support for sectors that are critical to industrial development. So, ano yung mga sectors na critical para sa industrial development natin? So, support mo yan, no? Emerging owing to potential comparative uh, advantage. So, ano yung mga emerging industries natin? No? So, yun din yung tutulungan. Also, the tier 2 shall include activities that produce supplies, parts, components, intermediate services, that are not locally produced but are critical to industrial development and import substituting activities. No? So, ito yung mga crude oil, uh, refining. No? So, yan yung tier 2. Okay. 
di sila locally produced. No? Sa tier 3 naman, activities shall include research and development. No? So, actually, to research and development, this is one of the expanded deductions. No? Mix pa dito. Pag may research and development ka, may dagdag pa na another 100%. No? So, resulting in demonstrably significant value added, higher productivity. Oh, so, yun, ito yung... Uh, uh, ideal na result, no? So, significant value added, higher productivity, improve efficiency, breakthroughs in science and health, no? Why breakthroughs? Kasi nakadiscover ka something that will improve science, no? Add high-paying jobs. So, magkakaroon ng mga trabaho yung mga tao. Generation of new knowledge and intellectual property registered and or licensed in the Philippines. So, Saan po yan nila-license yung uh, mga industrial designs na yan, patents, no, copyrights sa IPO or sa Intellectual Property Office, no, nasa Taguig. Okay, so commercialization of patents, industrial designs, copyrights, utility models owned or co-owned by a registered business enterprise. So, pwede na yung co-ownership, no, parang joint venture. Okay. Highly technical manufacturing or critical to the structural transformation of the economy and requires substantial cuts up efforts. So, yan pa. Ito yung tier 3 na activities. No, meron akong client na mag-aabil siya dito. Constraints preventing RBS from entering or upgrading the specified project or activity. So, yun yung uh, constraint, no? <clears throat> Areas necessary for countrywide development or found to be deficient in infrastructure, public utilities, other facilities, such as irrigation, drainage, or other similar infrastructure, no? <clears throat> so, ito yung uh, mga deficient in infrastructure and public utilities. So, in no case shall the IPS accept application unless the project or activity is listed in the SIPP. Projects or activities not listed in the SIPP shall be automatically disallowed or disapproved. No? Uh, section 5. Ito naman yung Section 5. Ito yung validity. No? So, how will you determine the validity? Okay, so the IPP shall be submitted to the president for the approval and shall be valid for three years from its issue once. Okay, so yun section 5, it's not validity. Provided that the BOI shall formulate and submit a new SIPP to the president not later than October 1 of the third year of its effectivity. No, so farther... All such areas under Memorandum Order Number 50 approved the 2020 Investment Priorities Plan signed by the President on November 18, 2020, which took effect on December 6, 2020, and its general policies and specific guidelines to implement the 2020 Investment Priorities Plan shall be open for application until the publication of the SIPP under the Act. So, so Ito yung mga approval, no? So, valid lang siya ng three years. Okay. Mandatory laws. Uh, is IPP shall include sectors or industries that are mandated by special laws to be listed in the investment priority plan and or granted incentives? Okay. Uh, steering committee composed of BOI managing head as chairperson and then uh, authorized representative of the office of the president, IPAs, no, uh, and chairperson of the technical committee of the uh, FIRB. Okay. Amendments to the SIPP. 
and uh, then publication. Marami pang viewers. Ha? Uh, may shout out? O oh, sige, bago ko um, ituloy yung ating uh, implementing regulations and also bago ko din. Sabihin sa inyo yung uh, RMC natin no, as our tax update. No? It is about uh, VAT exempt. No? VAT exempt products. Okay, so shout out muna bago yung question. Shout out po kay Ma'am Karon G. Good okay. evening daw po. Pati po kay Ma'am Lilia Fernando. Wow, oh, nandiyan si Ma'am Lilia. Okay. And then kay Jojo Trimor. Good evening daw po. Good evening po. Shout out din po kay Ma'am Rosalina Tune. Okay. Pati po kay Sir Ryan Deocades. Okay. Apo. Uh, Shout out din po kay Ma'am Rodora Constantino. Okay. Apo. Sila pa lang ma'am. Sige. So, shout out po. Ilan yung viewers natin ngayon? 18 po. Okay. So, shout out po sa ating viewers. Uh, thank you very much and thank you for watching. No? So, proceed na po tayo sa question and answer. Bago ko sabihin yung isang pang tax update natin, ito yung mga what exam products. No? Okay. Sige, Harry. Question mo na. Yung question, ma'am, galing po kay Sir Ryan. Okay. Yung taga Iloilo, no? Apo. Okay. Uh, is it correct for a BIR to register a corporate taxpayer as non-VAT if it is a PESA registered entity? Yes, that is correct po. Kasi, pero ang PESA kasi, ang PESA registered entities, meron yan sila mga zero-rated sale, no? So, since uh, in lieu of all taxes lang sila, hindi naman sila nagbabayad ng tax, all those ng VAT. Although, kung meron silang local sales, then that is subject to what? No? Value-added tax. Yes, ma'am. Sabi niya po, the percentage tax appears in the COR registration. Hmm. Patanggal niyo. No? Kasi patanggal niyo. Kasi yung nag-i-encode niya na taga-registration, uh, naglalagay talaga sila kasi business taxes yan eh. But, Unless nasabihin mo sa kanila na mayroon kang exemption dyan, saka lang nila yan hindi ilalagay. Pero pag wala kang ipakita, ilalagay nila talaga yung tax types. Huh? Okay. Next ma'am, uh, kailangan pa daw po ba mag-amend ng ITR kapag mag-amend din ng percentage tax? Not necessarily. Why? Kasi ang ano mo naman doon is... Uh, yung gross eh. No, ni-report mo sa income tax ang gross at saka nag-claim ka lang ng expenses. No? So not necessarily lalo-lalo na kung napaka-immaterial naman ng uh, effect niya sa financial statement pero kung malaki mandatory. Okay. So let's uh, proceed, no? So bago tong tax update, doon muna tayo sa Uh, re registration and availment of incentives. So, paano kung ma-avail yung mga incentives? Yung mga sinasabi natin na expanded deductions, no? So, saan yan ma uh, pwedeng i-avail? Kaya nga dapat kang mag-apply, no? So, section 1, authority of the FIRB to grant tax incentives. Sino tong si FIRB? Ito yung uh, Financial, Fiscal Information Review Board, no? So, yan po yung uh, FIRB, no? Okay. So, authority of uh, firm to grant tax incentives, no? So, to, uh, the power to grant tax incentive is a, functions or, is a function of the firm or uh, Fiscal Incentive Review Board, no? Where the investment capital is equal to 1 billion, so 1 billion yung capital, or below, the firm shall delegate the power to grant tax incentives to the concerned IPE or the inter, uh, 
investment promotion agencies, no? Okay. So the firm, upon recommendation of the IPA, approve or disapprove the grant of tax incentives, no? So registered projects or activities with investment capital of more than 1 billion. Also, yun yung uh, capital. Okay. So, may nilagay sila dito na yung splitting ng total investment. Parang chinap, chap, no? Para hindi siya abot ng 1 billion at hindi na kailangan ng approval from the uh, firm. No? So, alimbawa, split mo yung capital... Uh, investment mo, iba-ibahin mo yung uh, project mo para uh, hindi abot dun sa 1 billion. No? Hindi siya allowed. A finding of the splitting of investment capital um, uh, as a single uh, project or activity, ititreat pa rin siya na single uh, project or activity. No? So, paano nila ito i-monitor? Uh, consider the nature of the activity or project. No? Similarities of the project, products or services Expected customer or clients Time interval between applications Proposed start of commercial operation of the project Or an another analogous circumstances no? Kasi yun yung mga uh, Since uh, incentive ito At pag 1 billion na yung capital mo ay May approval na no? Both sa uh, financial, fiscal in incentives review board at saka doon sa IPA sa uh, implementing uh, promotion uh, doon sa incentives, no? So, agency. So, ang gagawin nila uh, ng company para just to avail is to split, no? So, bawal yun yung, yung splitting no, ng investment capital, no? Okay. So, ano naman yung standards ng uh, FIRB? Develop a more responsive, globally competitive tax incentives regime that is performance-based, targeted, time-bound, and transparent. So, yun naman yung mandate sa uh, FIRB or the Fiscal Incentives uh, Review Board. No? Provide assist assistance to attract preferred investment. No? Create more jobs. No? Transfer technology, develop skills. Promote fiscal responsibility. Uh, provide assistance to promote export of products. Promote use of domestic inputs. No? And development of rural, rural areas. Ang development nga talaga ngayon. No? Pero ilang years ko na ito napapansin. Kasi uh, dinedevelop yung local governments. Dinalagyan ng mga ilaw. Dinalagyan ng mga kalsada. No? Ngayon yung isang... Um, ginawa kong future na lagayan ng sana ng bahay no sa Negros ang ganda-ganda na ng kalsada no na develop na eh parang sarap-sarap na tumira sa probinsya no so enable parallel development for rural areas and areas recovering from armed conflict and calamities no so yun yung uh, uh, purpose ng fiscal incentives no the authority of the IPS or the investment uh, promotion agencies, no? Sila yung may exclusive jurisdiction to register all projects or activities. So, sa kanila dadaan yung mga incentives na ibibigay, no? Okay. So, under a delegated authority, IPA has the authority to approve or disapprove the grant of tax incentives to register project, project or activities with investment capital of 1 billion and below. No? Subject to compliance with this act and minimum standard prescribed by these rules. No? So, sila yung uh, magbibigay ng um, approval. Okay. Registration ng business enterprise. No? So, qualified business enterprise, uh, register nila no? yung export enterprises at saka domestic market enterprises. Okay. Every project or activity engaged or proposed to engage include the SIPP must satisfy qualification. No? So, may mga qualification. So, me method of filing fees. No? 
So, uh, application for registration shall be filed electronically through a system, no? Prescribed by the Fiscal um, Incentives Review Board, no? Through the system of an IPA. So, provided that the IPA system is interoperative, interoperable, no? And can be linked to the FERB system. So, sila yung magpapa- uh, mag-regulate ng filing no ng uh, incentives no to avail of the incentives no okay so pwede rin daw pag hindi available yung system applied manually no so ako please to copies and sent to before a notary public as prescribed by the IPA no uh, applicable fees also shall be determined by the IPA concerned kung saan ka um mag apply Halimbawa, apply ka sa BOI, sa Board of Investment, no? Because uh, applyan mo yung income tax holidays. Then, yung fee, kung magkano yung bayad mo, will be determined by the BOI. No? So, what are the documentary requirements for the application, no? For the application for the availment of these incentives. So, for the enterprise level, kailangan yung DTI no DTI or or is easy registration ay yung DTI yan, na yan yung sa mga single proprietor yan yung is easy registration sa mga corporations no BIR certificate of registration or yung COR no and then the tax identification number the general company information uh, business capitalization and ownership structure the authorized business representative details the latest audited financial statement. No? So, uh, kailangan. As usual, halos ito naman din yung mga requirements din, yung kahit mag-loan ka nga sa banko. No? Project or activity level information, ito yung uh, sa project na. No? So, locational address, con contacts, activity, representative details. Uh, description, classification, and type of activity. Project or activity set up timetable. Committed investment capital and other related details. Facility or utility requirements. No? Projected financial performance. Projected sales, raw materials, raw materials and production. Projected employment by type. No? And other documents that may be required by the IPA, the Implementing uh, uh, Incentive Promotion Agencies, or the uh, FERB, no? Okay. So, incomplete application, uh, hindi siya, no? Uh, hindi siya ma-approve, so you have to comply within three working days. And then the evaluation process. And then the uh, evaluation process ng IPA, evaluation process ng FERB, no? yung Fiscal Incentives Review Board, at saka ng uh, Investment Promotion Agency. Okay. So, action on the registration and then the Certificate of Registration. Pag na-approve ka na, bibigyan ka na ng Certificate of uh, Registration ng uh, IPA. No? Condition precedent for issuance of certificate. No? Meron siyang payment of registration fee, letter, uh, Resolution of Applicant Board of Directors, no? formally accepting the proposed term and condition of registration. And then the sworn statement authorized by the Board of Directors, partners, or by the individual adapting or affirming all representations and commitments made by the applicant. And then the issuance of certificate. No? And then application for tax incentives. Okay. Uh, filing of the application, application for tax incentive shall be filed with the concerned IPA. No? It, um, yung kanina, registration lang yun ng business enterprises. No? Uh, ito naman, 
uh, application na for tax incentives. No? So, kukuha ka pa ng Certificate of Entitlement to Tax Incentives no? or CT. Okay. So, upon compliance with the terms and conditions ng registration ng registered business enterprise, the CT shall be issued by the concerned IPA. So, sino yung mag-i-issue ng Certificate of Entitlement to Tax Incentives? The uh, company no? or the IPA. Okay. So, yun yung mga information. Conditions for grant of uh, tax incentives. Okay. So, tax availment of incentives shall be subject to re requirements and conditions set forth in the SIIA, SIPP. And then, the compliance with the target performance, compliance with the e-reciting and e-sales uh, requirement. No? Installation of adequate accounting system, submission of annual reports of beneficial ownership of the organization and related parties. And then the finality decision on the application of tax incentives and then the monitoring report, burden of proof. Huh? Okay. So, so, yung iba... Ano na to eh? Uh, customs duty exemption and importation ng capital equipment, raw materials, spare parts, and accessories. No? Okay. Okay. Mahaba pa to eh. So magkakaroon pa tayo ng part 3 dito no sa uh, next week sa Tuesday. Karoon pa po tayo ng part 3 kasi meron pa akong uh, i-remind sa inyo ito yung uh, tax updates natin. No? So Hari, may question? Shout out. Ha? Huh? Okay. So, tuloy po tayo sa ating tax update. Ano yung tax update natin? Ito yung uh, RMC 81-2021 list of VAT exempt products. So, ano ba itong mga VAT exempt products? No? So, RMC 81-2021 uh, clarifies no? kung ano yung mga uh, medicines na uh, naging VAT exempt na. No? Uh, beginning January 1, 2020. So, medicines for diabetes, high cholesterol, and hypertension. So, naging what exam siya beginning January 1, 2020 pa. No? Medicines for cancer, mental illness, tuberculosis, and kidney disease beginning January 1, 2021 din. No? Uh, exempt na siya. No? So, hindi, hindi mo nababayaran yung what doon, exempt product na siya. Okay. Drugs and vaccines prescribed and directly used for COVID-19 treatment. No? So, beginning January 1, 2021 until December 31, 2023. No? So, yun yung uh, exemption from the uh, importation. No? Yung importation charges, mga customs duties, so may exemptions na sila. Um, medical devices directly used for COVID-19 treatment. Beginning January 1, 2021 until December 31, 2023. Bakit hanggang December uh, 31 lang 2023? No? So, yun yung uh, may ano pa ang COVID sa atin, no? Parang hindi pa tayo naka-recover. Kasi yung Japan, Australia, yung recovery nila is uh, ano na, 2021, no? Yung US 2024 pa. So, ito, uh, 2023, no? Uh, until December 31, 2023 lang yung kanilang uh, exemption, no? Okay. So, ano yung mga uh, example po, no? Napakahaba nito, 58 pages. 
Kaya nga sabi ko, part lang yung babasahin natin kasi ito yung mga drugs na uh, wala ng bat, no? Tinanggal na. Kaya mura na lang siya. Okay, so what is the generic name? Ito yung aliskerin, amlodipine, no? Uh, 150 milligrams or uh, 5 milligrams, no? Film-coated uh, tablet. Amlodipine, also a tablet, no? 5 milligrams, uh, 2.5 milligrams, 5 milligrams, no? Um, 10 milligrams, no? So, ano siya? Uh, Film-coated tab tablet. Okay. Amlodipine plus hydrochlorothiazide. No? So, also tablet. Amlodipine plus hydrochlorothiazide. No? It's also a tablet. Okay. Amlodipine plus valsartan plus hydrochloride. Okay. Amlodipine plus valsartan, hydrochlorothiazide. No? So, 10 milligrams, 160 milligrams, 25 milligrams, film-coated tablet. No? So, karamayihan dito, tablet lang na ordinary or film-coated um, tablet. No? Okay. Atino, atinolol, 100 milligrams. No? Um, atinolol, 50 milligrams. Okay. Uh, at, atinolol, 25 milligrams. No? Atorvastatin, uh, 10 milligrams or 5 milligrams. Okay. So, yan ang mga pangalan, no? By Soprolol, no? Film coated tablet. Okay. Ang dami. There are uh, 50, 55 pages, no? So, napakarami nito. They are um, not subject to but anymore. Okay, Hari? Wala na? Okay, sige. Shoutout mo na ma'am kay Okay, sige. Shoutout mo. Okay. Kay SP Salom, good PM daw po. Okay. Uh, Matet Canlas. Okay. Kay Ma'am Janet Alusiman. Okay. Uh, good evening din daw sabi ni Shinaline Fernandez. Okay. okay. Yung tanong ma'am galing po kay Miss J. Sige, good uh, evening muna sa mga ano natin na sa mga subscribers. Ilan na yung viewers natin ngayon? 19. Ha? Huh? 19 po. Okay, so uh, good evening po sa ating 19 na uh, uh, viewers, no? So thank you very much and thank you for watching. Okay, anong question? Uh, regarding ma'am sa ano, EBIR forms, uh, mm. papail daw sana siya ng 2551Q. Mm. Tapos naglag daw yung laptop niya. Pag open sa drive C, wala hmm. na yung EBIR forms. Ikaw ang sasagot okay. niyan. Sige. Uh, try nyo lang pong i-restart yung laptop, ma'am. Kung sakaling nag-log. And then, i-reinstall po yung EBIR forms. Hmm. Pero hindi na niya makita yun. Nakalagay, uh, nag-try mag-install ng BIR wala pa rin. Naka-fill up naman ako kanina sa form. Naglag lang po. Tapos, ganyan nangyari. Oo. Oh. Re-install nyo lang po ulit, ma'am, pagka nawala. Kung ayaw pa rin po, 
yan install nyo. Ah, tingnan nyo po dun sa control panel kung naka-install pa siya. And then, kung ayaw po mag-open, i-uninstall nyo po. Tapos, download po kayo ng bago. I-install nyo na lang po ulit. Hmm. And then, okay. gawa na kayo ng bagong form. Apo. Baka po kasi nag-corrupt yung application. Oh, correct. Okay. Correct. Tama. Hmm. Sige. Hindi po yung tanong mo. Wala na? Wala na. Oh, sige. Kasi... Uh, may seminar pa tayo bukas no? so we have to prepare so tama na muna yung one hour natin na live streaming ngayon and uh, uh, bukas meron pa tayong um, dalawang topics no? na dapat i-discuss natin yung sa uh, 2020 guidance on the uh, transfer pricing ng uh, financial transactions at Uh, yung profit split, no? yung guidance sa profit split. Kasi yung profit split method, ginagamit yun pagka walang comparables. But how do we split the profits? No? So, ano yung mga acceptable na uh, allocation no? to allocate the uh, splitting of profit? No? So, with that, I would like to say thank you very much po sa mga uh, viewers natin and thank you very much sa mga subscribers And uh, uh, the purpose of our tax training is for you to have a better compliance. So thank you very much and let's call it a night.